So as always, I'm so amazed by the super talented Tatiana Maslany, and I just love it when she plays different clones. And I know we've seen Crystal before, but I really like her. I mean, she's not Helena, because that's my fave, and she's not exactly like Al. I mean, she's not my fave like Allison is, because Allison's like my second fave. But I really like Crystal. I find her very funny. So we start this episode with her in training. Um, we know that she's up to something. We find out later she's kind of been doing her own investigation on Dyad and everything. So I just really love her personality. She's kind of silly and ditzy. And I just, I don't know. I'm just so amazed that Tatiana can play so many different people. And they all actually seem like different people. Thumbs up if you agree. So we're still trying to figure out at the beginning of this episode what is the exact deal with Brightborn. So we see Cosima. Um, going in with Donnie and she's pretending that she's going to be the surrogate for Donnie and Fee, you know, because they're a couple. Um, and she's going to be the one to carry the baby. Um, so we kind of figure out that Brightborn is what I thought it was and they're a way to create perfect babies for people so that they can have just the perfect little child up to their, you know, specifications. Um, and what's really funny is that while, while Cosima and Donnie are at um, Brightborn, they go there to kind of meet with other potential parents to find out more about how the process works. And while they're in the meeting, um, Crystal actually shows up because she's pretending that she's wanting to have a baby as well so she can find out some more information. Um, so Donnie and Crystal run, end up running into each other and that scene is hilarious to me and he has to pretend that he's like a masseuse and he's like giving her a massage but then she figures out that he knows people that she knows and that he's onto something and she uses like her super karate or whatever you call it skills on him and it's just really funny. Um, I, I, I think that Donnie has been really epic this season and he's just getting better as a character as the show progresses and I just loved the scenes with him and Crystal. Um, so the police are on to Allison, which is interesting because, you know, that mold that we saw with the interactions with Beth, um, he is telling Art that <clears throat> he thinks that Allison, um, the Hendricks were selling drugs, which they were in the past. And so, you know, the mole is like, you need to back off. He's telling Art that. And, like, Art calls um, Sarah, and he's like, oh, my God, are they selling drugs? Because this will destroy me, if so. And she didn't really know about it, I think, right? I can't remember if she knew about it or not, but she acted to him like she didn't know about it. And then she was like, what's the deal with this? Allison and Allison's like, you know, we don't do that anymore. So, so we have Susan, um, who we had, I guess, thought was dead, but now we know is alive because she was seen in those scenes with Rachel, but she is part of this whole Brightborn thing, and she actually talks to Cosima, who doesn't know who she is, and she acts like she doesn't know who Cosima is. Um, then um, we notice that one of the clones, the Caster clones, is also working with Brightborn, so everything is super connected here. Um, and what I guess was probably to me the biggest um, thing to come out of this episode was the ep was the scenes with Adele because you know I've been really suspicious about Adele being Fel Felix's real sister and um, Sarah was so suspicious that she had their DNA tested so they have this great scene with Mrs. S at the dinner table and Sarah's pretty much antagonizing Felix or um, Adele and she's you know basically everyone knows that she doesn't believe that that's really his sister and so while they're at the dinner table she gets a call that yes the DNA matches up and yes Adele is Felix's sister, but I gotta be honest here, I'm still not buying it. I mean, um, if you watch After after the Black, isn't that what it's called? The After Show, it comes on here in the US and I think in Canada, but you may have to look it up online if you're in another country. But basically, um, I think it was Art, the guy who plays Art, whose name is Kevin, he said that he thinks that possibly um, those worms, maybe she has one of those worms in her mouth, Adele, and it is manipulating her DNA to make it look like she is connected to Felix. I still feel like she's not really his sister, or if she is, there's something else going on here. Someone's paying her to show up in his life. So I would love to know your thoughts about that because I'm still very suspicious of her and do not trust her at all. And I think Sarah is exactly right with her instincts. Her first instincts, you know, those are usually right. So I think it's going to be interesting to see how all of that pans out. One of the creepier parts of this episode was the ending 
when one of the brightborn babies is being born and you know Kasim has kind of infiltrated um, that area of where the women are having their babies and she's pretending to be a doctor or a nurse or something and she's in on one of the births and when the woman has the baby she's you can tell she's really got a lot of second thoughts about it and she's giving birth and the baby's got all kinds of like birth defects and is really messed up so we learn that there are some major flaws in their system of creating perfect babies and I don't know what was going to happen with this kid because it was promised I'm sure to another couple um, and then Susan tells Kasimi you know like she knows who she is and everything so I don't know how that's all going to pan out and she uh we find out she's actually dating like susan is dating this young caster twin and they're like making out so i don't know i don't know but um oh that was interesting um but again i will say this as i say in every video we don't have any information about delphine at all i still think she's alive kind of what i've read online people seem to think she's alive but i don't know why they're keeping that a secret from us and i don't know what is the deal with her and what she's up to or if she's you know being held captive somewhere or like what's going on with her what do you guys think is going on so i don't know but if you're a fan of orphan black i'm covering all of season four so if you just stumbled upon this video i would love it if you would hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe because i will be covering the entire season plus i cover tons of other mystery investigative shows maybe you watch some of those so i'd love for you to check out my channel but um, thank you so much for watching this episode of Kelly TV. And I think that I'm back on track to do live shows for Orphan Black. So we should have one this Friday. But follow me on Twitter, info down below, so that you will know um, everything that's going on with me and information about live shows, etc. Um, but I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will see you very soon. Bye, guys.